You have one living space, you have a fireplace there, but you want a TV too. Simple, right? Here's my grandparents' outside the box solution. You might want to try something different. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. If you have questions or thoughts that you'd like to share about competing focal points, leave me a comment below. And to get more bite-sized interior decor advice from my channel, hit the subscribe button. Lots of homes have multiple focal points, a window, fireplace, and often a TV. It's best to try and put the TV on a wall that doesn't have a window or a fireplace. Focal points on different walls don't compete with each other. Let's look at how this could work. With a fireplace and a window on adjacent walls, you might place your TV on a wall opposite the fireplace. This is a good way to emphasize your room access. Using a couch opposite chairs, everyone can enjoy either the fireplace or the TV. Ideally, the couch addresses the window. In a different scenario, the window is opposite the fireplace. Ideally, in this case, the TV would go on the wall adjacent to the fireplace. You can open up your furniture into an L shape to view either the TV or the fireplace. Given that the window and fireplace are defining a strong axis, you might consider adding a bench or ottoman opposite the couch as a balance for the room axis. With windows flanking the fireplace, you might have three possible walls for a TV. Placing the TV opposite the windows could cause glare. You might put the TV on the adjacent wall rather than the wall opposite the windows. Some of you might have another problem, the open concept living room. You may have just two or even one wall where you can put the TV. Are you stuck craning your neck to look above the fireplace for the rest of your life? Here are the steps I would take to attack that problem. Can you conceal the television? I mean, close it off entirely inside a cabinet and only open the cabinet when you're watching the TV. This is always a good idea in my book, especially if you need to offset the TV from a room axis. A TV in a cabinet can avoid being a focal point in your room. And concealing a television is one way to reduce the amount of time that you spend staring at screens, which is something we should all do anyway. Doug, please stop staring at me. Next would be mounting your TV above your fireplace. Fireplace mantles can be five feet high or higher, which could put the center line of your TV at six feet six or higher. You're going to find this an uncomfortable viewing position unless you're going to build bleachers in front of your TV. Which is highly frowned upon in this web series. Additionally, TVs are giant black spaces on your wall, which often is not good for decor. One solution is to set your TV to show pictures when you're not watching it, especially when you have guests over. I had to resolve the conflict between a fireplace and a television myself. Now, my solution is not necessarily possible for everyone. I place the fireplace low in a cabinet and let the TV have more room above. And that gives the TV a more comfortable viewing height when you're in the room. If your room is big enough to set up a furniture grouping around your TV and use your fireplace as a secondary focal point, you can do that. Your fireplace becomes its own thing. It's not ideal, but it can work. Placing your TV in a corner is not ideal, and these days it'll be hard to find a piece of furniture large enough to fill the corner and hold the TV. If your fireplace is in a corner, you can use a TV to reorient the axis of your room by placing the TV on a wall adjacent to the fireplace that's 90 degrees to the other walls in the room. Creating a stronger axis with a TV and windows can help you avoid the oddity of trying to appropriately address the corner fireplace. Consider your viewing angles as well. Just having a window and a fireplace in your space is pleasant even if you're not looking directly at them. If you're watching a television, it's best if your viewing angle is not more than 60 degrees. One last thing. Please don't make a television altar. Putting decor around your TV just makes it look like you're bringing offerings to a golden calf god. It's best to just let your TV be its techie self. If you know just one person who should see this video, please hit the share button and send it to them. If you'd like to up your interior decor game, hit the subscribe button below. To get on my email list, go to roominess.tv.com. Thanks for watching.